Hey, how's it going? Another quick check-in, just back from Jiu-Jitsu. That's twice in two days. Haven't done that for quite a long time, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Um, but good to be back, and it's a habit that I have let slip for um, the months of August, well, September and October. Um, so yeah, good to be good to be back rolling again. I do find it. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm I'm particularly adept at it yet, but uh, I do enjoy the, the the sensation of making progress, which is why taking that big break has. Uh, uh, took such a lot of energy to get back into doing it again. But anyway, uh, that's the jujitsu. So uh, today, what's happened today? Um, a couple of small nudges forwards uh, with the conversations that I've been having again. And um, I'm actually having a proper conversation with somebody tomorrow. Um, re the idea I have for a well-being program to launch in the new year. So that's encouraging. And hopefully it'll, it'll, uh, it'll come to something. But again not counting any chickens before they've hatched. And the second thing is I have launched a LinkedIn group today called High Performance Wellbeing. And uh, there's, there's a number of reasons for doing this. Uh, I had a, a very, very interesting chat with uh, a guy this morning. We had coffee. He's actually the, the dad of one of my um, old coaching clients and a friend of mine. And um, he's in his early 80s and is uh, an author, he's a speaker, he's a lecturer, he's a professor, and he's still going strong. He's absolutely on the ball when it comes to um, uh, his, uh, his kind of mental energy and his physical energy. The guy still runs two miles a day, a real sort of inspirational figure, but he's looking to um, create something on uh, with some of the knowledge and some of the content that he has. And uh, we were talking about LinkedIn groups as a part of, w of what that could be a part of. So that got me to thinking, and uh, I had said a while ago that uh, I would be keen to experiment with LinkedIn groups, having had some moderate success with Facebook groups over the years. Um, the LinkedIn is a very different platform and um, to look at it as an opportunity for me to to actually learn about LinkedIn groups and you know, as the features and functionality evolves, to actually be able to provide more value, more content, and to, um, uh, to, to become an authority on that platform. You know, Facebook is going great, and on the wagon's fantastic. I've got my, my main boost community on Facebook as well. I've got my running communities, um, Intelligent Running and the Beginner's Luck as well. So I've, I've, I'm... I'm going to continue with all of that on Facebook, but I, I want to start to experiment with the, the, the LinkedIn group. And I thought, well, you know, instead of just talking about it and I may be doing it at some point in the future, I'm just going to go for it today. So that's what I did. I had no intentions when I woke up this morning of starting a LinkedIn group. And now I have a LinkedIn group with the grand total of 33 people in there. I do know, or at least I anticipate, it's going to be a lot harder to generate momentum with the group, not because of the type of people that are in there, many of them are in my other groups anyway, but because of the way the platform works and the way that the um, the that the content is shown in feeds and people's notifications about the content. So it's going to be very, very different. Plus, I'm trying to achieve something a bit different um, with the group anyway. It's much more about high performance. So looking at the connection between physical health and mental health and performance, not just in the workplace, but outside of the workplace as well. And not everybody's going to get that connection. Um, so I don't really talk about that too much in on the wagon. I'll talk about it in Boost. It's a kind of a big part of the Boost group. Um, and there's going to be a lot of differences between Boost and what I'm giving away for free, essentially, in the High Performance Wellbeing group. But it's still that, that link, that connection that I really want to, to riff on. And so we'll talk about productivity and we'll talk about um, uh, some of the things I speak about in my, my workshops and talks like procrastination and so on. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited by the challenge and um, I've got to be very mindful as well that it doesn't start uh, taking away my energy from the other groups and the other things that I have going on. Um, I, I, I know that I get motivated and I get pushed on and um, by seeing things grow, by starting things, um, but uh, it's, it's important for me, uh, as it is important for anybody, to have a bit of a strategy behind it, to have some, some point to what I'm doing. So there's, so there's sort of three or four reasons for, for creating the LinkedIn group, and I'll, I'm sort of refining what those are. Um, at the moment, they're not very articulate, but they're sort of in my mind as to sort of ideas as to why this is a good idea. Um, that one of them, as I said, is to cement that um, authority um, position within the LinkedIn profile, uh, the LinkedIn platform. As you now, I'm a guy who who knows 
a, a fair bit about physical health, mental health, and performance, and I want to share some of that content. So that's the that's the driving force at the moment. It's just another opportunity for me to share some of the things that I know. Um, and you know, I'm not looking at this as a, a way to gain clients. Um, although I know what a difference the on the wagon group has made to my. Uh, positioning and uh, on 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 that platform and um, and kind of how I'm how I'm seen and how I'm positioned there. So um, I've, I'm there's a chance that it might still turn into something useful for me on LinkedIn as well. But we shall see. Um, very early days, as I said, it's only a few hours old. So we'll see what happens over the next few days. But anyway, I will be checking in. I'll check in tomorrow for sure, um, as I do every day. But also in particular how the call goes that I have planned for tomorrow and uh, any other updates relative to my progress with my big goal for 2018 of establishing myself as a professional motivational well-being speaker. Good night.